Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Prime Minister of St. Lucia and immediate past chairman of the CARICOM, Honorable Alan Chastney, speaking at the conference, highlighted a number of challenges confronting member states, including climate change, blacklisting by the European Union, adversities facing small island states in the international community, the ongoing situation in Venezuela, and the risking in the region. De risking refers to the restriction of correspondent banking relationships or business services from major global banks to certain jurisdictions due to concerns over money laundering or potential involvement in the financing of terrorist activities. The Prime Minister noted another issue plaguing the region, that of blacklisting. He indicated that the CARICOM delegation interfaced with the European Union on the troubling issue which still exists today. The 31st intersessional meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government of CARICOM took place on the 18th of February 2020. The National Apprenticeship Program through the Monroe College International Hospitality Training Institute will be providing a second leg of hospitality training to over 50 young persons from the constituency of Ancillary Canaries. The three-month program forms part of an initiative by the Government of St. Lucia to help alleviate the high unemployment rate amongst our youth. Director of the National Apprenticeship Program, NAP, Dr. Windy Moncherry, encouraged the apprentices to make the most of the opportunity. Recognizing that not everyone is as able, the Government of St. Lucia is absorbing 33% of the cost and the participants will contribute the balance. Additionally, each student will receive a stipend of $500 monthly. Upon completion of the program, the trainees will be placed on internships within the hospitality sector. The opening ceremony for the National Apprenticeship Program took place at the Derado Community Centre on Tuesday, February 18, 2020. Under the theme, New Faces of Democracy, youth parliamentarians gathered in Parliament on Tuesday, February 18, for the Independence Youth Parliament debate. The youth debate sought to discuss a number of issues, including education reform. The motion before Parliament was the establishment of a national curriculum that is balanced and broad-based, which fosters the holistic development of the child. Member for Castries North and Youth Prime Minister Siobhan Bryan deemed that the establishment of the national curriculum was integral to education reform. He says it begins at the primary school level with the introduction of an aptitude test. The Independence Youth Parliament debate was organized by the National Youth Council as part of the activities for St. Lucia's 41st Independence Celebrations. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.